In keeping with my commitment to make our government more open and transparent, this budget is an honest accounting of where we are and where we intend to go. For too long, our budget has not told the whole truth about how precious tax dollars are spent. Large sums have been left off the books, including the true cost of fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. And that kind of dishonest accounting is not how you run your family budgets at home. It's not how your government should run its budgets either. We need to be honest with ourselves about what costs are being racked up because that's how we'll come to grips with the hard choices that lie ahead. And there are some hard choices that lie ahead. Just as a family has to make hard choices about where to spend and where to save, so do we as a government. You know, there are times where you can afford to redecorate your house, and there are times where you need to focus on rebuilding its foundation. Today, we have to focus on foundations. Having inherited a trillion-dollar deficit, that will take a long time for us to close. We need to focus on what we need to move the economy forward, not on what's nice to have. And that's why on Monday I held a fiscal summit to come up with a plan to put us on a more sustainable path. And that is why, as we develop a full budget that will come out this spring, we're going to go through our books page by page, line by line, to eliminate waste and inefficiency. This is a process that will take some time, but in the last 30 days alone, we have already identified $2 trillion in deficit reductions that will help us cut our deficit in half by the end of my first term. 